One of the world's most pristine coral reefs off Lord Howe Island has suffered major damage. Parts of the reef have been hit by the largest bleaching event on record. Unlike the Great Barrier Reef, where corals have been known to recover, the reef at Lord Howe is so genetically different it could take decades to regenerate. Here's environment reporter Sarah Clark. Lord Howe is renowned for its natural beauty and pristine environment. The island's isolation has allowed it to develop a diverse marine ecosystem, including an unusual mix of tropical, subtropical and temperate corals. But warmer than normal sea temperatures over summer have caused the first major bleaching event. In some spots, up to 95% of the corals have been damaged. In response to this unusual warm sea temperatures and very high light and calm conditions, some of the corals began to bleach, and that bleaching process has continued over the subsequent weeks. Peter Harrison has been monitoring the reef at Lord Howe Island for 18 years. The corals survived a mass ocean bleaching event in 1998, but he says this time around, some of the reef may not recover. There are a couple of sites in the lagoon at Lord Howe Island where the bleaching is so extensive and some of the corals look um, very stressed that we're expecting at least some coral mortality at those sites from this event. Cooler sea temperatures will ease the coral stress, but the real test of recovery will be in a couple of months. Sarah Clark, ABC News.